Hi, here's an old book. It's called Introduction to the Theory of Sets. It's by Joseph Brewer. And this book was actually uh, a gift. Uh, someone gave me this book and I am very grateful for that. I'm just gonna give it a whiff here. Oh yeah, wow, wow. Smells really, really good. So let's open it up. Let's take a look at the inside of the book. Theory of Sets by Joseph Brewer. I've had this for a while. And uh, my friend who gave me this book used this book. So 1958, wow. Well, this is the fourth printing, so 1960, I think. Printed in German by Hermann Schrottel Berlag Hanover. And here's, here's the contents of this book. Finite sets, infinite sets, ordered sets, points sets. Conclusion Appendix, that's it. And answers to exercises, let's jump to that. Let's see how many answers we get. So we get some answers to some of the exercises perhaps, or all of them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how many are. So page seven, let's see how many exercises we have on page seven. And we'll see how many answers we get. So that should tell us if it has all of the answers. There's five exercises on page seven. We have five answers. Okay, let's try a different one. Let's just skip around. Let's say, um, oh, I don't know, page 26 here. We've got one, two, three, four. Are there only four questions on page 26? So let's find out. Let's go to page 26 and see if we have all of the answers. Uh, we have five questions here. There's five questions. The last one being a proof. And we have four answers here, and they don't give us the proof. So it looks like sometimes they won't have the answers, so, which is expected, especially for a question like this one, where you're being asked to prove something. They often do that, folks. I'm just going to give it a whiff here. It's just calling me. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it's a, basically a, a book on uh, the theory of sets. So this would be used in a course on set theory. Uh, and that's not something that is typically, um, you know, it's, not, it's not a very common course. So if, if, even when you're a math major, a lot of schools don't, don't offer a course on set theory or they only offer it sometimes. Sometimes it's a graduate course. It just, it just depends, uh, it just depends. Uh, the only time I've known someone who was in a course in set theory, uh, that person was in a graduate course. So, uh, but I'm sure they have undergraduate courses uh, on set theory as well. So yeah, just an interesting book on the theory of sets from my collection. Pretty cool stuff. If you found any value in this content, hit subscribe if you want to. And also, if you want to learn math, I have courses. I even have a course that has uh, proofs in set theory. It just, it's just it's all these proofs in set theory. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. I've got algebra, calculus, differential equations, etc. They're actually on Udemy, but if you get the courses uh, and you use the links from my website, uh, it helps me and uh, I lowered the prices. So if you go th through that link, I'm pretty sure you'll get the low, a low price because I lowered the prices. So that can help you learn some math and I have some set stuff there too, but this is cool. What a cool book. What a cool book. Nice cover. Theory of Sets by Joseph Brewer. Good stuff.